Happy Halloween! So I decided to try and recreate the look of the gentleman from the Buffy episode, Hush, which is an iconic episode. I decided to do this because I've always wanted to cosplay the gentleman. It's been a while since I played around with makeup, and also because my friend Anthony has been watching Buffy lately and talking about it, which just reminded me how much I love this episode and this whole show. Buffy is definitely one of my favourite TV shows of all time. This is also the first time I've ever attempted to pr put on a bald cap, and I didn't spend any time uh, researching how to actually put any of this stuff properly on, so... <laughs> I was pretty happy with the front of the bald cap. I just couldn't get the back to sit right. It kept having this bubble at the back of it. Probably also because I couldn't stick it down very well at the back because I was doing this by myself, obviously, and so I couldn't really see what I was doing back there. So excuse the bubble at the top. Hopefully I will improve if I try and put a bald cap on again. first coat of white was way too runny and ran down my face, lol. The gentleman's skin tone is like this grey, yellow, blue, waxy type look. The first few layers of this, I was actually pretty happy with how it was turning out, just using water-based paints. And it was all going fine, but I think the mistake I made is when I started adding details on top, I continued using the water paints, which means like the more liquid you add on your face, the more everything sort of blends together, which was what I wanted for the background, but when I added the veins and like the shadows in the cheeks and the skull, it sort of blended together and ended up looking really bad. So I kind of wish I'd like stopped here, but I didn't, so enjoy the rest of it. The episode that the gentlemen are in, Hush, is such an iconic episode. So here you have this TV show that is heavily reliant on its dialogue for its humorous moments, for its dramatic moments, for its sad moments, everything. And suddenly you take that away and it ends up being you know, a fan favourite episode. That's pretty incredible. And obviously, like, the music had to be really important in that episode, and I think they did an excellent job with it. And the gentleman just looks so creepy. I think especially the way they've always got, like, teeth showing, like, they're always smiling. It's just, ah, uh, it's so creepy. I love it. Also, I just want to mention real quick, I want to make it abundantly clear that I'm not posting it as a tutorial or because I think it looks good or I, I'm trying to like say, oh look at me, look how good at makeup I am. Like I know I'm not skilled or talented at it or anything, but I'm not posting it to share that. I'm posting it so I can keep track of me learning this stuff. So I can look back and see if I improved in that. I'm a big advocate for being able to post crappy content. I hear now there's this emphasis on, especially like YouTube videos, for them to be polished in that. And I see so many people not posting things because they're like, not good enough. And I'm like, guys, none of mine are good. And I think that's totally okay. So if you see this and like, whoa, she's doing a shit job, why the hell is she posting this online? I just want to make it clear, I agree, it's not good, and it's fine for me to share that. If I draw a stick figure and call it art, it's fine for me to share that too. There's more to that rant, but I'll save that for another day. So I started using powdered colours, like eyeshadow and such, for, to go back over it. Because my big problem was, yeah, trying to layer up too many water, <laughs> too many um, water-based levels.
paint your hands because why not? Dry out those teeth to color them. Le costume. And I don't have any of that uh, teeth safe coloring stuff, so I just use face paint straight on there. I'm sure it's not toxic, it's fine, guys. And me trying to mimic their mannerisms. Oh, darling. Their applause is probably my favorite thing. Also, I can't for the life of me wear contacts. I've tried so many times. I will get them in one day, but it is not this day. When you're stressed AF because you haven't carved up enough hearts for your boss. And that's about all. So thank you for watching, guys. I learned quite a lot in this process. I learned more about bold caps. I learned more about layering uh, face paints and such. So I'm excited to build on those skills and try them out again soon. If you're a Buffy fan, please let me know what your favorite bad guy is from Buffy. I am always up for Buffy chat. I hope you all have a spooky Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for nonsense. Bye.